In this video, we're going to go over the meta element. Now, the meta elements are always put inside the head element. So they will always go inside the head element. And the reason is because meta elements are not visible to your web user. And as you can see over here on the web page, none of the meta elements appear. They will not appear on your web page, and so the user will not see them. They are merely to tell search engines about your web page. And so you can provide all this information to the search engines using meta elements. Now, we create a meta element using the meta tag. You can see that right here. And you'll notice we don't have a closing meta tag. You only have an opening meta tag, and then you just have to close it with a typical angle bracket. So again, it does not have a closing tag. Now, meta tags use attributes to provide information to the search engine. And there are different types of values for the name attribute. And it is the type of value that gives each meta element its identity. And so again, the meta elements are differentiated by what value you set the name attribute to. First one we're going to look at is description. And that's probably the most important one. And the two attributes that you use are the name attribute and the content attribute. And in this one, we're going to use the description value to provide a description to a search engine about our web page. So this identifies it as description, and then we put whatever content we want for our description in the content attribute. And I said this is a web page about fish. We cover all the fish in the world. So again, this description is used by search engines to understand what your web page is all about. Now, there's about a maximum of 155 characters, so you should only put a few sentences in here because sometimes this is actually displayed in the search results. So when you go out and do a search on Google, it'll pull up the website, and then you'll see a description right under it. And I'll show you an example right now. This is PBS's website. I did a Google search for this, and here is their description. So this is being pulled from that meta element description tag. They put all this in a meta element that used the description value. So that's what they put here. And you can see it's kind of being cut off. So remember I told you you have about 155 characters. You can see right here it's being cut off. So again, you want to keep that to a few sentences. Now the next one we're going to look at is keywords. Now keywords are words that a web user might search to find a particular page. Most search engines don't use this anymore. For instance, Google has said that they do not use this. So they will not use this to rank your website. However, I usually put it in my website because some foreign search engines still very much use this. So it's not a bad idea to throw a few keywords of what you think people might search for. So again, I just put in fish because this is a fish website. I put an ocean and aquarium. I think I spelled aquarium wrong. And so again, it's just the keywords that you think people will put into Google. Now the next one we set to author. Now you'll notice we use a different attribute here. So instead of using name, we just use HTTP hyphen equip, but it pretty much does the same thing. And this is just putting in the author of the website. So again, we set the value to author and we put in our name here, whoever the author of the website is. And the final one tells the search engine what language your web page is in. Again, we use the HTTP hyphen equiv attribute and we set this to content hyphen language. That's the value. And then we use en hyphen us to say that this is in English. And again, that tells the search engine what language it's in and then what country it's from. In this case, the US. I think uh, French would be something like FR, FR actually. So if you want to put these in different languages, you can actually look these up out on Google. Now, I will point out one thing. If you do not put in a description in, the browser will do it for you. And it might not describe your website very well. So again, of all the meta elements, I recommend you at, at a minimum, you use this one. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. See you guys in the next video.